Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. How many of us are happy today? Now, can you walk? Can you walk up to four people? Tell them I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm here for a miracle. Walk up. To, oh, you have the. Do you have the, the COVID rules? Do you have the COVID rules here? The COVID rules. Okay. Can walk up to four people. Tell them I'm. I'm in for a miracle. I didn't say follow instructions. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. I want to say thank you to Apostle for the opportunity he has given me this morning. And I pray that the word this will bring about diversity in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I have a message from God to you this morning. I was supposed to um for God here to share what he has for you this morning. Praise the Lord. Now how many of us are going through Praise the Lord. How many of us are going through financial challenges? Let me see your hands up. And now, praise the Lord. And now, hallelujah. God gave me a word for you. God gave me a word for you. Can we just bow our heads as we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, this is your hour. In the name of Jesus, that is such a crowd and do what no man can do. I pray may no one go back home the same way they came. Let your word be magnified. Let your word be made known in their lives. In this, in Jesus, can you put together for Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. Now I want you to get focused. While I'm teaching, things will be happening. If you're sick, anybody will be healed. Praise the Lord. But I, I want to focus on our finances this morning. Because if you have a million dollars in your account, whatever illness that is in your body will just disappear. There are people who are sick. Not, they are not just sick uh, because they are not eating too well or maybe because of the weather, but they are sick because of finances. Praise the Lord. If you have a fever and somebody gives you a million dollars, you will wake up from that fever. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, let me share a story with you. So many years ago, it happened in Nigeria. For those who are not from Africa, please pardon me. Now, there was this family that had a plantation, an orange plantation. So they use it for, they sell the oranges. So on this fateful day, uh, one of the brothers was going to the city. So while he was going to the city, he and a blood from chicken so he rubbed the blood on the tree then tie the red cloth on the tree. Now, he did this so that people will not steal from the plantation but he didn't tell his younger brother what he did now while he had gone to the city the brother went to the farm and found out that there was a red cloth on the tree and a blood stain on the tree so he was scared so he felt that people wanted to kill them because of the farm and he left there sick instantly when he, he couldn't walk anymore, he was on the so they had to send for his brother. When the brother came back, he was so surprised. So he went into the room, saw his brother lying down. He told so he was asking his brother, Why are you lying down on the bed? So the brother said, I went to the farm and I saw a red cloth and a blood stain on the tree. So they want to kill us because of our farm. So the elder brother said, I am the one who did what he saw. Now, when the younger brother heard that, somebody who has not walked for one week stood up from the bed. Now, what I want to pass across to you is this. As a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Sometimes what we go through is not as a result of 
witches and wizards, what we go through is as a result of what we think. Praise the Lord. What you think is so important. If you think when they give you a million dollars, you still remain poor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, there are reasons why a lot of us go through some challenges in our finances. Praise the Lord. Now, when it comes to finances, you don't pray your finances out. You can't cure financial problem with prayer. Prayer has its own responsibilities. Praise the Lord. We're going to share God's word together. I'm a teacher, okay? So we share God's word together. Let's go to... I'll try as much as I can to be fast. How many minutes do I have, sir? 35 minutes, okay, sir. Yeah. All right. Philippians 14. If you're there, you can read for us. Hallelujah. 19. Praise the Lord. Now, from the, the King James says, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches. In now, how many of us pray? We, all, we pray all the time, right? But sometimes we fail to read from verse 18 and 18. Now, before God supplies your needs according to his riches in glory, there is something you have to do in verse 17 and 18. Can we go there? Verse 17 and 18. Well, hallelujah. Now, just hold on. He says, not that I seek the gift accumulate to what you are can. So, in other words, what Paul, what Paul wanted to do was to ensure that they have, uh, they have profit in what they want to do. And that is giving. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Now, after he had received the gift from the church, he now prayed, verse 19. He says, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Now, the point I want to make is that you don't pray out prosperity. It is some, it's a covenant. It's something you do. Praise the Lord. Now, but the disappointing part of it is that now, some of us give, but we don't see the results, right? How many of us give? How many of us give? Huh? Praise the Lord. Now, how many of us have given and you've not seen results of what you give? I'm not asking you to give in this service, okay? I want to help you. Praise the Lord. If and we don't see what you've given your tithe, you give your uh, what the, several types of seeds and you don't see the results. All right. Now, there are reasons why you don't see the results. Praise the Lord. One of the things you need to understand is that God cannot lie. God cannot lie. Human nature part is what we stand forever. So when God says a thing, He means it. So if it is not working, it is not from God. It is from you. And sometimes we send the blame to God instead of looking inwards. Praise the Lord. Now, four types. This is what God wants you to correct. There are four types of giving. We have the seed and the offering, which everyone do. Now, by the way, you don't just give offering. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. You cannot be successful and advance in life outside faith. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7, the Bible says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is. It says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. That means empowered to succeed is the man that trusts in the Lord. Now the question is this, when you give your offering, do you give your offerings in faith? Praise the Lord. If you don't give your offerings in faith, that offering is just of waste. Praise the Lord. But there are some certain reasons why people don't benefit from their giving. They don't benefit from their giving. We have four types of giving. It's, it's a class, and we're having a class right now. 
we have four types of giving. We, the first one is offering. The second one is tight. Good. The third one is first fruit. And the fourth one is arms giving. Arms giving. We'll start with the arms giving. Now the arms giving is it's a giving you give to those to the less privileged. It's a giving you give to someone who is going through crisis. It's a giving you give to those who are in the orphanage. Like I said to us, you cannot prosper financially if you don't give. You don't pray your prosperity out through prayer. You bring it out through giving. So one of the ways you can assess your prosperity is through alms giving. As alms giving is the giving you give to those in the orphanage. For example, if your friend couldn't pay house rent and he comes to you, and maybe the house rent, let me use dollar, I'm used to dollar, I'm not used to ringgit, okay? Let's say the house rent is $200, and you give him the $200. You don't go about telling people you're giving, let's say the person, your friend's name is Chinedu. You don't go about telling somebody, I've given Chinedu $200. You start telling everybody. Now, once you start telling everybody, you don't get the benefit from the giving. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 6 verse 1. Let's go. Matthew chapter 6 verse 1. Matthew chapter 6 verse 1. Now this is where the church has problem. So when, when, when it comes to giving, people feel that giving is a scam. Matthew chapter 6. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So when you begin to tell people about the persons you've given money, now one thing about God is that God likes protecting the dignity of people. Now, let's say you came to me and I give you, you were, maybe you need some financial help, and I give you $200. And I stopped going about telling everybody I gave you $200. Now, when you hear that, how would you feel? Fine. Now, that is what God hates. God likes protecting people's dignity. The moment you start telling people, I gave this lady this, I gave this guy this, you've taken a reward because you want to let people know you're a big boy. Now, every giving has an exchange rate. Every giving has an exchange rate. Every giving has an exchange rate. When you give up, you're giving to God. The Bible says See that give it to the poor. Give it unto God. When you give to your friend who is lacking finances, you're, giving, you're not giving to him. You're giving to God. And the Bible says that God is going to reward you. God will repay you. So the moment you start telling people, you go to the orphanage, the, the orphanage and you take pictures on Facebook, God is not going to pay you. God will not pay you back anymore because you've taken your reward by telling people that you gave people things at the orphanage. Now, this is, where, this is where our problem is. So, when you give and you give, you don't see result. You start blaming God. God is not the problem. You are the problem. Praise the Lord. When you give your arms giving, you keep it to yourself. You don't tell people about it. You don't even tell your husband or your wife. You keep it to yourself. Because God wants to protect the dignity of the person you gave the money. Praise the Lord. So the exchange rate for arms giving, God repays you back. If you give the person $200, God repays you back the money. But once you tell people, you don't get it anymore. Praise the Lord. Now, one other mistake we make, if you can work on this, your finance will be collected. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm, I'm giving you a proof of what I've done of both in my family and in my church. That crisis, I had to call a meeting in my church. And I, you know, try to see the people give, but there's no results. I had to investigate to find out that they were giving a miss. Sometimes people take their tithe 
and give us arms. They take their arms and give us tithe. They take their seed and give us tithe. They take their first fruit and give us arms giving. Now each time you do that, you're mixing up the exchange rate. Praise the Lord. Now the Bible says, when you give your tithe, the Bible says God is going to open up the windows of heaven and pay out a blessing that you And one of the things that the Lord does is that when you give your tithe, he will book the devourer for your sake. Now let me share a little story with us. Some few months back, so she didn't tell me she was not going to pay her tithe. It's like she had some... Uh, she had so much to do with money, so she couldn't pay her tithe that month. So she said, okay, I was going to pay, because they pay her every two, two weeks. So she said she wasn't going to pay. She would just put everything together at the end of the month and pay. But the thing is that once you make a contract with God, let's say, for example, we worship here every Tuesday, right? Let's say, for example, all right? <laughs> we worship Tuesday. Now, once everybody agrees to worship God every Tuesday, God is in covenant with your agreement when you come on tuesday you see god so she has made a covenant with god to pay her tithe every two, two weeks now she has the tithe for that week and wants to take carry it over to the end of the month so while she was driving she went to school so she after her work she took one of her friends to go drop at, at home while she was going the police there caught her so one of her papers the uh, road wardens got expired. The tithe she refused to pay. She paid that tithe to the police. One of the things we don't see, one of the things we don't seem to understand is that if you fail to pay your tithe, you will pay your tithe to the devil. Most of the challenges we have in our finances is an act of not paying our tithe. When you pay your tithe, God protects your finances. For those of us who have done farming before, now in Africa, when you plant cassava, to protect the cassava for animals not to come in inside. Now, that is what the tithe does. When you fail to pay your tithe, that means you're taking up the protection over your finances. Then the enemy can strike. That is why people get so much money. After three months, they can't account for the money. Because they're not faithful in their tithing. Now, there are those who take their tithe. Of course, we know our tithe is 10%. They take the tithe. Not that they don't. They take the tithe and use the tithe as arms giving. The moment you use the tithe as an arms giving, you've changed the exchange rate. In tight, God protects your finances. So if you take it for arms giving, God does not protect the finances anymore because you have changed the exchange rate. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then when you talk about, let me just read some few things to you to let you know the tight. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. All right. Now, tithe is a divine connector to the blessing. Tithe is a connector. Tithe connects you to the blessing. That is what tithe does. Number two, tithe is a way for depression or recession to bypass you. When people are complaining, of course, after the COVID, everybody's crying out. So what tithe does is when people are complaining, the Bible says, when men shall say there is a casting down, you shall say there is a lifting up god opens up doors for you god opens opportunities for you our problem is that we don't trust god we think that when we give you doing god a favor but actually you're doing yourself a favor praise the lord number three when you tight everything you touch prospers everything you touch prospers now, one of the things you need to understand is that now, there are preachers who say tithe is of the Old Testament. How many of us have heard? 
that we don't need to pay tithe, that tithe is an Old Testament concept, right? You've heard that. But the thing is that when, it's just, when, when, when you go through the scriptures, tithe is not an Old Testament concept. Tithe was before the law. Abraham tithed. So tithe is of faith. The Bible says Abraham was counted righteous because of what? Faith. Remember I said, the just shall live by faith. In Hebrews 11, 6, the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So when you tithe, tithe is an act of faith. When you don't tithe, that means you are not trusting God with your finances and you can't please God. Praise the Lord. So the exchange rate for tithe is that God protects your finances it's a way for recession to bypass you. So when there is hunger in the land, you don't feel it. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. The word blessing means empowered to succeed. So when you tight, you're being empowered. When you trust God with your finances, you're empowered to succeed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you can do what I share with you, today i give you under three months your finances will change your finances will change praise the lord hallelujah now tight holds god to his promise remember god said i will rebuke the devourer for your sake so now I, there was one time when i got to and knew that i got it and the principal then didn't like me so he wanted to to fire me what i did was to take my tight sleep i told i said lord i have paid all my paid my tight and this when I did that i heard god by his word and do you know they fired the man before i left they fired the man praise the lord that is what tight does. it holds god to his word you're going through financial challenges. What can you hold God to his word? What proof do you have for God to change your situation? Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. So when you take your tithe and give your tithe as, as arms giving, you are destroying the exchange rate. So you don't get the benefit from tithe anymore. You get the benefit from arms giving. Like I said, we give we give but we give wrongly and that is why we don't get results praise the lord so how many types of giving have i talked about now no two arms giving and tight then the third one is it's seed and offering seed and offering praise the lord let's go to mark chapter 4 verse 8 Mark chapter 4, verse 8. Hallelujah. No, stop this. It says, and other fell on good ground and did eat fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. When it comes to seed, seed is a way of getting out of poverty. Seed gets you out of poverty. Because the Bible says when you sow seed, you will reap 30, 60, and 100 fold. You know, I, I, when I got the, when I got this revelation, I was talking to God. If I let's say I give uh, less than hundred dollars, right? How can I come out of poverty when I give hundred dollars? Because let's say if I have to if I have to have thirty foot of hundred dollars, which is hundred times what thirty? What is hundred times thirty? Thirty. Hmm? Three thousand. Now, can can three thousand get you out of poverty? Huh? It cannot. 
So I was talking to God, how can I put the seed to work and I come out of poverty? God told me, he said, when he talked about 30, 60, 40, it means 30 opportunities, 60 opportunities, 100 opportunities. One opportunity can give you a million dollars. Praise the Lord. God cannot lie. Praise the Lord. Now, I, I, I'm sharing with you what I have practiced. Praise the Lord. I don't teach what I don't practice. And I don't teach what is not working. Praise the Lord. So, when you... The Bible says that you're going to have 30, 60, 100 folds. These are different opportunities, diverse opportunities. Now, one of, the, one of the things you need to understand is that God is not, God is not a magician. If you're giving to God, you give to God in love. You don't give to God to multiply your money. When you have that mentality, then it's not going to work. But you cannot give to God and you go empty hands. No matter where you are. No matter where you are. Now, during the COVID, before the COVID, I started a school, my own school. And the COVID affected a lot of schools. So many schools closed down. Even those, that, those schools that were bigger than mine had much money than mine. They closed down. But can I tell you something? My own school was not closed down. God sustained my school even after COVID. Why? Because of my foundation. So when I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to you based on something I read. I'm talking to you based on something I do. When I came into Malaysia, we're going around, you know, searching for hotels. A lot of hotels closed down. Why? Because people couldn't run the, their hotels anymore because of COVID. No money. So if hotels were closed down, how much more school? I know of a military man that had a school close to mine. This man's school was closed down because he couldn't have, afford the money to run the school anymore. So I know what I'm talking. Praise the Lord. So your seat giving is a way for you to come out of poverty. The Bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive. When you're giving, is your hand up or down? When you're giving, is the hand up? You put your hand like this, right? Then when you're receiving, how do you put your hands like this? So if you want to receive all the time, you can't go up. You can't go up. Sometimes as Christians, we think that we are more smarter than God. If you want God to use you in the area of finance, that means you have to act foolishly towards God. How many of us have taps in our houses? Taps where water rush. Okay? Now, when you turn on the tap, what happens to the, what do you call the pipe? What happens to it? Does it get dry? Does it get dry? No. Now, when you become a pipe for God to use financially, you can never run dry of finances. Our problem is that we hold our finances tight. We hold our finances tight. I didn't just come here to share this word with God sent me to tell you. If you want to get out from where you are, you must put this word to work. Now, one of the things you need to understand is that they sent forth his word and healed their diseases. Each, when you're asking God for a car, you're asking God for a land, a wife, a husband, a child. God does not give you a child. What he gives to you is his word. What he gives is what? His word. Your ability to receive the word will bring about the house. Your house is in the word. Your car is in the word. Your health is in the word of God. When you fail to take that instructions, that means you will not see the manifestation of what he's, he's talking about. Praise the Lord. How many of us want to come out of the challenges we are right now? Then he must put it to work. See, before I became a pastor, I used to think that pastors eat church tight. I was one of those who attacked pastors. When I came into church, 
It was when I knew that there, was, there is no money in church. There is no genuine pastor who can prosper through church money without giving. If I have to prosper as a pastor, I must give. No pastor can prosper without giving. Now, what you guys don't seem to understand is that pastors are dangerous givers. When we give, we give. We give. So, any pastor who is prospering without giving, check him, is fake. He's fake. And maybe he's manipulating the members every Sunday, collecting money from them. Praise the Lord. But I want to show you a way out this morning. I want to show you a way out this morning. If you put it to work, I give you three months, your life is going to change. It doesn't matter whether there is money or not. It doesn't matter whether the land is dry or not. God's word cannot fail. He says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall stand forever. When men shall see there is a casting down, you shall see there is a lifting. Put God to test. Put God to test. Praise the Lord. Then the last type of gift I'm going to talk about is your first fruit. If you're having a job, first salary is what? It's your first fruit. It's difficult to give, right? <laughs> your first salary for the month at the beginning of the year is your first fruit. If you're a businessman, the first business you do at the beginning of the year the profit, not the capital, okay? You don't, your capital is not the, if you do business, you do business with a uh, hundred dollar and your, you have in two hundred dollar, you take out your capital, which is hundred dollar. The other hundred dollar is what? Your first fruit. You give it to God. Now, when you use your first fruit for something else, you will not reap the benefit that comes with the first fruit. This is where the church has problem. They tell the pastor how to pay the tithe. You don't study the word of God. You're teaching the pastor how to pay your tithe. You feel that when you give your tithe to the church, the pastor is going to eat it. Eat the, the, the tithe. It takes money to run ministry. It takes money to run ministry. The rent is it free? The light is it free? The streaming. You know, when I came in, I, when I saw the streaming, I was, telling, I was talking to Pastor Sylvester. You can't be streaming with, with, with what I put there. That is too, too, for a big church like this to stream with a phone. This is something one person can do. If you want to stream with, if you want to have a good streaming, you stream with, like, with what you have now, you cannot switch from one camera to the other, or maybe switch from this to the laptop. You have to use an ATM Mini Pro, and we'll get it today. Praise the Lord. We'll get it today. Now, I want to give for that ATM Mini Pro. I mean, God can also do it for you. It out of the money. Sometimes it is only it, it is not when you work you tight. When somebody gives you money, your friend gives you money, you tight from it. You are thanking God for the availability. For you see. One of the things you need to understand is that God is your source. God is your source. When you tithe whatever moon that is given to you, that means you are acknowledging God as your source. If you acknowledge God as your source, God cannot disappoint you. Hallelujah. So how many types of giving do we have? Four. What is number one? Arms giving. Now, how do you give your arms? Do you tell people that? Do you tell people when you give your arms? So once you tell people, you've lost the reward. Number two is what? Tight. 
the tithe has its own responsibility. It protects your finances. Now, let's say I make about $1,000 every month. I pay my tithe. Someone else makes about $10,000 every month. He doesn't pay his tithe. And after the end of the month, the person who makes $10,000 can't account for his money. But I can have some savings in my account. Do I receive less? And the person who makes more money? Huh? Okay, who benefits more? Me. So if you don't tie it, you can have, you can make a millions of dollars every month. You end up coming back to square one. You come back, end up coming back to square one. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Then the last one is the first fruit. I want you to stand on your feet. How many? When I studied so many years ago, we were not talked about up to ten. I called, my, I called the members of my church and I told me, I said, there's God. If you serve God foolishly, God will exalt you. But if you're in your serving God, if you want to think that you're smarter than God, you will remain where you are. Don't be smarter than God. God is God. God knows everything. God knows everything. The Bible says, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Now, this is, if you don't sow seed, you can't reap and harvest. If you don't farm, you cannot reap and harvest. You don't bring forth your harvest through prayer. You bring forth your harvest through giving. Praise the Lord. Now, you're going to talk to God. That in whatever way you've made mistakes in your giving, until you ask God for, for forgiveness, that error cannot be corrected. You're going to talk to God right now that you're sorry for the mistakes you've made in your giving. For the times that you've given your... Tell the whole world that you... The times that you took your time as I'm, and took misplaced all your givings you're going to talk to god right now ask god for mercy ask god for mercy i came here this morning to help you that is what god sent me to do i want to give an opportunity you want to say to god lord from this i want to be faithful in my titan i will use that's arms giving. I will not use my arms giving as tight. I want you to come forward. You want to be faithful. Say, Lord, if you can touch my finances, I want to be faithful to you from this moment. Come forward. Come forward. I'm begging you. Come forward. It's for your own good. Can I have anointing oil? Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Man of God, my, my special aunt had some challenges with finances. Now, before he came to my church, he was somewhere. And uh, somebody asked him to come and see me. So when he came, I told him, I don't pray for When he comes to money, I don't pray for people. I told him what to do. What I just shared now was what I told him to do. And under this piece of Amen. And not just only that, now, he didn't have papers. He has got enough money, as I'm talking to Nigeria now, to come back to have his papers for him. Amen. So, so when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you based on something I've taught myself. Something I've taught myself. You start, you have, you have $10,000. You can't take out $1,000 out of $10,000. Is that how stingy you are? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Change. It. May I be. You know this song? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Man. I need to talk to you right now. I want you to make a covenant with God. Man. Mashimpra. Healing Jesus. Oh, re. This is oh, Jesus, my Savior, oh, no. oh. my soul, you are the owner of my soul. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Ingaba rangaba. Ma ingaba shimpra. Just mantu mantu skud shimpra. Fat. I lift up your people right now. The Bible says it commit unto you, you will not cast away. They've come to renew that before you right now. Father, what made in that faith? Lord, I give you my every mistake. Is it against them? I live for Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the blood. Can I have that mic, please? Let the blood speak over their finances right now. Let the blood speak over their lives. In the name of Jesus. Every advantage the devil have, had had over them. That advantage is broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I command every hardship to cease. In the name of Jesus. I command every mere success syndrome to cease. In the name of Jesus, I command every disappointment to cease. I command every failure at the age of breakthrough to cease. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I decree right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. That these ones are blessed. Their hands are blessed. Amen. Whatever they touch prospers. In the name of Jesus. As I, Lord, anoint their hands. These hands become prosperous. Amen. Nothing dies in these hands. Amen. Nothing dies in these hands. Amen. These hands will touch millions of dollars. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus, there shall be a voice. A voice in the families. Amen. In the name of Jesus, a voice in the families. 
a voice in this nation. Amen. In the name of Jesus, every hardship ceases. Every hardship ceases. Amen. Every hardship ceases. Nothing that touches your hand dies. Amen. In the name of Jesus, these hands are prosperous. These hands are prosperous. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They are prosperous. They are prosperous. Every curse is raised off. Money enters into your hands right now. In the name of Jesus. Now stretch forth your hands towards the altar. Open up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blessing of God is upon my life. The blessing of God is upon my life. Say the blessing of God upon my life. The blessing of God is upon my life. Empowers me to prosper. Empowers me to prosper. The favor of God upon my life. The favor of God upon my life. For this opportunity for me to prosper. Now touch your legs. Say my steps are ordered. My steps are ordered. I am at the right place at the right time. I will be in the right place at the right time. I am at the right place at the right time. I'm at the right place at the right time. I will never be at the wrong place. I will never get into wrong place. Now stretch your hands. Say my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Nothing enters into this hands and dies. Not enter into this hands. Anything I touch prospers. Anything I touch prospers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, you begin to thank God right now. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Now something has happened right now. Your finances will never remain the same again. Amen. It will never remain the same again. Amen. I see God lifting you right now. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus that money will meet money in your hands. Money will meet money in your hands. Amen. Your hands will never be dry anymore. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. Amen. That whatever projections that the enemies have made into your finances, right now it is paralyzed. It is paralyzed. It is paralyzed. Amen. I declare you blessed right now. Amen. No man can curse who God has blessed. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. Amen. That no man can curse you. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I, now, let me show you a secret. Every nation has a principality. Yes. Every nation has what? A principality. Now, in the nation where I am, man of God, you cannot come to that nation. Now, the demons will make a while you make the world. But when you want to go, you enter into prison. When you want to go, every, every nation has it. Even in Africa, every nation has it. No principality in any nation allows anybody to make money. For you to make money and go, that means you must operate in a higher frequency. And that is what your tithe in your giving helps to protect. To protect. There are a lot of people who are into prison, especially in my where I am right now. Not just because they merit it, but because when power meets with power, lesser power bows. We should be smart. Praise the Lord. But I want to assure you, your lives will never remain, will never remain the same again. Amen. Please, when God begins to bless you, now, starting, with, starting from now, when somebody gives you money, let's say you have a friend, he gives you hundred dollar. Pay the tithe. Your tithe is what? Ten dollar. Not ten cents. Ten dollar. <laughs> okay. All right. So you start doing that now. As you start doing that, you will see the results. You will see the results. Man of God, I'm waiting to get testimonies from this one. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I want to do something right now. Before I leave, we're going to get this church an ATM mini pro for streaming. And 80 mini pro, and we will check it in Malaysia. It's about 400 dollars, I think so. If it's not com completed, so 400 dollars. I want people that want to get want to give for us to get that 80 mini pro by Sunday. I want us to be streaming with the 80 mini pro by Sunday. By Sunday, by Sunday, how do I divide that in ring it? I don't know how to. Four hundred dollars around the how much? Five. Eh? Two thousand dollars, huh? How much is fifty dollar in ring? It's fifteen dollar. Fifteen fifty dollar. Huh? I don't know, I don't have the idea. Okay, it's two thousand five hundred. That's four hundred dollar, right? One thousand five hundred, yes. Four hundred dollar, one thousand five hundred ringgit. 
Malaysia. Okay, can I have up to about 10 to 11 people that can give us that? All right. So I want about 10 people or 11 that can give us that 18 minutes. We have to get that 18 minutes for this week. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, who wants to give us $50? I, I want about 10 people with $50. Convert it to ring it. I don't know how much it is. $50, not $50. You want to come out? Come just a forward. Number one. I need 10 people that can give $50. You can it to ring it. Number one is out. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Can I have the anointing of you? You'll do me a by pulling your shoes. Not your leg for speed. Now, I want to give the money this week because by Sunday I will watch from Cambodia. I watch. I want to. I want to see the eight minute play. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, this once I've obeyed your word. I ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you prove your word to them. Now, sometimes, now, if you can't give the $50, any of you have, come and drop it on the altar. When God wants to lift you up, He creates a way a system for you to give if you can't give the 50 dollar any amount you have come and put on the altar if you can't give the 50 dollar any amount you have come and put on the altar father in the name of jesus i declare speed over these ones every year they've lost is restored now what i want you to do now those ones standing there, what I want you to do is this have a goal, all right. How much do you want? How much do you want? Write it on the wall and tell God, Pastor, so time I want this money. I want this money. You will get it in Jesus' name, Lord. I declare speed in the name of Jesus. I declare speed. You know, sometimes when God does it, we like hiding our testimony. There are people in my church who do that. When God does, does the miracle, they hide the testimony. Don't feel, yeah, you can go back. Lord, I declare speed in the name of Jesus. I declare speed. I declare speed in the name of Jesus. I declare speed. In the name of Jesus. The other leg. I declare speed. In the name of Jesus. I declare speed. In the name of Jesus. I declare speed. Man, if they can send me the name, I want to pray for them. If they can send me the names, I want to pray for. I declare speed. Mantus could in Gabashim. Mantus could in Gabashim. Wonderful Jehovah. 
Jehovah is wonderful. Wonderful Jehovah. Let's stand on our feet. Jehovah, wonderful. Oh, wonderful is Jehovah. Jehovah. Let's turn on our feet, let's turn on our feet. Wonderful Jehovah. Jehovah, wonderful. Wonderful Jehovah. Jehovah. Tell him to call that word that is sick. If you are sick, if you are sick in the body, you need deliverance. Please come out, come and receive your prayers. Those that need fruit of womb, you need one miracle on the other. You want God to intervene in your life, but even in your finances, there is expectation. There is something that you need God to perfect in your life. This is the hour of a counter. This is the hour that your expectation will never be caught up. Wonderful, 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 Jehovah. Jehovah is wonderful. Oh, wonderful, Jehovah. Jehovah, wonderful, Jehovah. Jehovah, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, about two years ago, the devil came striking. I was sick. My heart, my blood pressure was so high. I went to the hospital for checkup. The doctors couldn't find what was wrong. But they keep on collecting, taking money from me. My blood pressure was so high to the, to, to the point that the doctor said, for me to stay alive, I have to, I have to make drugs a part of my, my life. Now, when the doctor said that, I went back. I cannot be a pastor. And I live on drugs. When I go back home, I stopped taking the drugs they gave to me. And here I am here with you. If God can heal me, he can also heal you. The Bible says the thing that is difficult before him. I have seen miracles. I have seen miracles. My wife had an accident. A truck ran over her. Do you know what it means a truck? A truck to run, to run over a lady. Her pelvic bone was broken. People felt she was going to die, but God sustained her. She had had too much children, still walking, because I didn't know the doctor first was going to be on a wheelchair, but she's walking with her two. Amen. So Amen. I, I have tested when I when I share God's when I share God's word with you. I have tested God. I have tested God. I have tested God. I want you to get focused right now. God is going to heal you. I don't care what what. This is of what infirmity you have. The Bible says, His stripes you are healed. Amen. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By your stripes. Lord. By your stripes. By your stripes. I have been healed. I am healed. You took upon yourself. Yes. My infirmity. My, infirmity. my disease. You took upon yourself. My sickness. My infirmity. 
my disease, my disease. so that I, Gabriel Morgan, that's my name, call name, will not carry any sickness. Now touch your body, say my body. Say my body. I refuse you. I refuse you. I refuse you to accommodate any, any disease. Say my body. You cannot accommodate any disease, any infirmity in my body. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my kidneys. My kidneys. My kidneys. My kidneys. Works perfect. Work perfect. Life. Life is in my kidney. Life is my. Say life. Life is in my heart. Is in my heart. Say my heart. My heart. Work perfect. Work perfect. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My organs. My organs. Have function effectively. Function effectively. My systems. My systems. Have function effectively. Function effectively. In the name of Jesus. I to accommodate any sickness. I refuse to accommodate any disease. I refuse to accommodate any disease. I am healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen.
I speak life. I declare that in the name of Jesus. I command you out now. I command you out. I command you out. You kid in the name of Jesus. Hear you the word of the Lord. I command you to function now. The frequent urination ceases now. I speak life to every organ in your body. Life. 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 From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I speak life. Satan, take your hands off this one. Take your hands off him. You are free. In the name of Jesus. Drink this, you're free. Baby, this. The blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. Blood of Jesus. You have to change the way you eat. Jesus. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus. From sinners, the blood of Jesus from sin and sorrow for diabetes in the name of Jesus us now body be healed I speak life in the name of Jesus I speak life from sin in the name of Jesus you are free. Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. What's wrong with you? The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow. Water. Water, water. water, water. Jesus set me free. Father, in the name of Jesus. The blood I speak life over this water. The blood Water, whatever that is in your is body with from sin and sorrow. Jesus set me free. Forever you will be. Forever you will be. The love of God is true. May the land upon the throne God be bound me God be bound my name To worship you Forever you will be Forever you will be Alright, I will take your husband Forever you will be the lamb upon the throne. Lord, I declare the no mommy's carriage. No mommy's carriage. Your womb will hold your baby this time. In the name of Jesus. I speak life to your womb. We wait Every demon of this you. I command you out. No, no, we wait in the name of Jesus. You. I declare that life is in your womb. Your womb will hold Lord, we your baby wait this time. Wait you will carry your baby. You are free. You are free. Lord, we wait on you. I think two years before I went back to Nigeria. But the issue. When I came to Cambodia, that was in 2018. He told me his wife was pregnant. So your own case is hard one. So it's not difficult. Father, Holy Spirit, you welcome. What's wrong with the siblings? What's wrong with them? Matters. Lord, we wait on you. Tell them to change with it. We wait. It is a lot of junk food. Lord, we wait on you. God is going to lift you up. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. If this is your power. This is your glory. This is your presence. Let it rain. This is your power. This is your power. 
This is your glory. This is your glory. This is your presence. This is your presence. Let me reign. Let it reign. This is your power. This is your power. This is your glory. This is your glory. I command a high blood. High blood. This is your presence. I command your blood pressure to be normal right now. I command this to be normal. Let it rain. Let it rain. Any ring gates, any amount of ring gates. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak life over this. As this money touches our hands, money will meet money in our hands. In the name of Jesus, every every soul goes off. You are free. In Jesus. Now, because of time, I'm going to lay hands on you. When I lay hands on you, you're free. Okay? Not just because me, I didn't spend time with you. Don't once I lay my hands on you, you are free. Alright? Yes. Have you done that? I command that demon of the to leave. You. I speak life over you right now. I speak life. I speak life. In the name of Jesus. I speak life. You are free. Get it. But I speak like drink it for free. Do you drink water? Not a water. You are in the water. You have severe headaches. And also try to take magnesium supplements. You try to take magnesium supplements. If you're Magnesium supplements, then Lord, in the name of Jesus, I worship you to live now. You are free, you are free in Jesus' name, amen. Oh my God, there is who you are. We make miracles. Father, of Jesus, my infirmity to live. In name, I command every infant from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet to live. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. There is who you are. There is who you are. O Gene Do. O Gene Do. 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 Do.
the door again.